On petition of Larry Sack, 13 Hilda Drive and 25 registered voters, shall the town of Hampton, New Hampshire vote to raise and appropriate funds in the amount of $49,500 to fund the installation and construction of a prefabricated restroom facility at Place Cove, Town Beach, where sanitary facilities do not currently exist at Place Cove, I propose the installation and construction of a permanent sanitary facility public restroom at Place Cove for use by town residents and guests. This modest building will incorporate two ADA compliant unisex bathrooms with flush toilets and sinks, a storage utility room, and two open air rinsing stations. Building will tie into town sewer and water and electric. The absence of restroom facilities at our town beach has created a public health hazard and environmental issues. Additionally, this will resolve the inconvenience of having to interrupt or curtail beach outings and a coveted parking spot to locate a bathroom elsewhere. Majority vote required. Not recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 5-0. Not recommended by the Budget Committee, 12-0. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2014 tax impact is 1.8 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 44? Mr. Sack? Move to open it. Uh, yes, sec seconded. Um, Mr. Sack, to uh, go. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Margaret Sack, uh, 13 Hilda Drive, and I am here to speak on behalf of Article 44. Um, this is a simple uh, petition in some regards. It's, it's simply a request for bathrooms at the town beach at Place Cove. Um, we are very fortunate, the residents of Hampton, to have a beautiful beach, and uh, it's unfortunate that there aren't restrooms at the beach. The nearest restroom is uh, a half a mile, I think, to the south, and six-tenths of a mile to the north. Um, and uh, there are several reasons why this uh, petition makes sense. First of all, um, most families go to the beach for the morning or the afternoon, and in the course of that time, they need to use, especially children, need to use the restrooms. And it's unreasonable to expect uh, children and families to have to go a half a mile or more to, to either on foot or by car uh, to use a restroom. And as a practical matter, what's happening, I'm, I'm a mother of two children and know many families in Hampton, uh, people sneak into the rocks. Um, and so from a strictly a sanitation, sanitary standpoint, it's unsanitary not to have restrooms at Place Cove. Um, I know many families that no longer go to Place Cove because there aren't restroom facilities. Um, I don't think it's unreasonable for town residents to expect uh, to have the ability to go to the bathroom and not curtail a day at the beach. Uh, and so that's the thrust behind this uh, petition. Uh, it's a citizen's petition for the citizens of New Hampshire, or the citizens of Hampton, New Hampshire. Um, it's, an, it's, it's a shame to have a family curtail a, a day at the beach because they have to leave to go to the bathroom. It's a free family activity, um, and uh, I think the town should support that. What's envisioned is simply a um, modest, uh, attractive, consistent with the neighborhood. I know there's a concern there, but a modest facility which would include two um, unisex bathrooms, uh, a small rinse station, and a little storage in the back which could be used by the town lifeguard. And um, I urge the um, passage of this uh, article. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sack. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, Ms. Martin. I just wanted to speak briefly on behalf of this article as the Hampton Parks and Recreation Department has employees that work at that town beach. We have the um, lifeguards. It would be nice for the lifeguards as well as the residents to have a place to use a restroom and not have to leave the property. As Margaret said, the facility would be closer to the street, would not, not close to the beach, close to the street, and would be an attractive building instead of an eyesore to the community. Having this facility would create convenience for both residents and lifeguards. It would definitely be more sanitary than what we have now, and it would be an attractive facility and also provide a place to house the lifeguard equipment as well as restaurant supplies. It could be a nice addition to the beach for our community. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Uh, Larry Sack, 13 Hilda Drive. I, I just want to say that it, um, the town does already maintain bathrooms at Eaton Park and Tuck Field, and Diana had said that they would uh, put that under their watch, more or less, to go and clean those. Uh, I, I see the schedule of the, of the uh, bathroom, probably something like 
uh, May th or June through September, and maybe weekends on either end of that, but it would be open full time, uh, you know, whatever, eight to, eight to eight or something like that during the summer, and then close for the winter. Uh, it would not be uh, a, a big user of water or electric or anything like that, so I don't think a, a year to year funding of it would be a whole lot of money, but I think it would be very much appreciated, and I think it's a, uh, I think it's a, a legitimate warrant article and something that would benefit uh, many of the residents, and I, I think it'd be a nice thing to have in town. Thank you, Mr. Sack. Who's next? Mr. Collins. <coughs> Hi, Pat Collins, Boar's Head. Again, I'll be brief. I am adamantly opposed to this article. Um, it should be noted for members of the public, this was not recommended by the Budget Committee and not recommended by the Board of Selectmen. The issue I would find is that the town has not been in the business of building bathrooms or washrooms. I think we need not start doing that. Secondly, obviously, the expense. Thirdly, most importantly, the area that's proposed for this is right in the middle of a Class A residential area. Now, someone can speak ephemerally of some residents who would like it. I know Place Cove, I'm there constantly. I can guarantee you between Boar's Head and Place Cove, which are not commercial areas, you won't find many people at all who would consider this a smart move. I see it as an issue with property values. I think of the taxes that are paid in that area of town to dump a bathroom there. I just think it's foolish on its face. Certainly will vote against this and would urge, urge others to do the same. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Ms. McFarland. Uh, with all due respect to Mr. Collins, um, I think it is an ideal location for a bathroom, having tried to use that beach for many years with my children and family. However, um, the last minute nature of, of this citizen's petition article, um, whether it is proper or not, um, and where the money is coming from, uh, I cannot support it. If this were to be raised next year with a little more forethought on how it would be maintained, how it would be uh, hooked up, um, uh, details on the exact architecture, run through planning boards or whatever need be, and then funded through the Recreation Infrastructure Special Reserve Fund, that seems to me what we're asking for here. This is, in, this is what that fund was, was made for. Uh, recreational purposes for residents of Hampton. Um, next year, if it were to come up that way, I'd be up here supporting it. This year, it's, I don't think it's a good idea. Thank you, Ms. McFarland. Uh, before I get to Ms. Uh, Martin, is there anybody? Mr. Nichols. Um, yeah, I, I would just comment. If, if we started some combination of the town and the state putting bathrooms um, it was mentioned it was 0.6 miles um, to, I believe, what was probably the Northampton State Park bathrooms. If we started putting them at some distance less than 0.6 miles, pick your number, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, or whatever, from Sun Valley, from the Seabrook line to the Northampton line, I think we'd have to add four or five bathrooms. It's, it's roughly about two miles from uh, Boar's Head and Dumas Ave um, to the High Street bathrooms. So if, if you were going to have a bathroom, if that was kind of the rule every 0.4 miles or whatever. Um, you're not just talking this one location. There's no bathroom um, in the Sun Valley side, on the Seabrook side. And to my knowledge, there's no bathroom that the town of Seabrook um, provides. I think this is just homing in on one particular issue, but um, I think it's a lot broader than just this one location. Thank you, Mr. Nichols. Yes, ma'am. Hello, I would like to speak in favor of this article. I think it's sad. Ma'am, ma'am, I need you to state your name and speak oh, for the record. Marcella Quant for Quinlan Lane. And um, my husband and I have used that beach. And um, 
I think it's polluting the ocean because I know that people don't take children off to the other bathrooms and um, you know I, I, I consider it a health hazard to and I think it should have been done a long time ago and I think just two bathrooms and being able to be used by the lifeguards I remember I used to live on that beach I was a, a very privileged child I don't live there anymore because I can't afford that but uh, I think that in consideration of the lifeguards that it would be a good place to have uh, them be able to uh, have equipment and be able to uh, serve that beach which I believe is underserved um, and that is wonderful that there's a spot there I, I think it's because of the donation of a certain person that, that wanted to have that place open but I, I think that little bathroom looks great to me and it was outhouses they wanted before well I think this is a large improvement on that and I think it would improve a part of our town that is for the townspeople thank you and people can go there but who wants to go there without a bathroom I, I don't think that's a good idea thank you thank you Ms. Kwan Mr. Moody do you wish to be heard Art Moody that uh, that lot looks awful big but most of it's a sand dome and uh, you take away a, any of the parking that's referenced in the article covered or parking spot and this is going to take considerable <laughs> piece of that the, the, the front end at the curve in uh, whatever road that is that's but a, what an ancient highway I guess it is yeah the bend there you go straight north and that's all you got for parking dirt parking and uh, that's a north side park in memory of uh, longtime selectman Joseph Ballard Brown and uh, having a bathroom there <laughs> it reminds me of the state bathrooms at the state pier they had a monument too Longtime fishing family, Irving Jones Sr. and Jr., who was lost off Boy's Head, lobster fishing. They put the plaque on the bathroom, and uh, that was a big uproar. Well, you'll notice it's now on a boulder. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Anyone who has not been heard uh, who would like to, and then Ms. Martin, then we'll get to people who've spoken, and then we'll try to wrap it up. Mr. Warburton. Mr. Moderator, uh, I rise in opposition to this as well. I. Uh, I don't think the town's in the bathroom business and it shouldn't be. I also want to uh, put out there that having uh, some knowledge about bathrooms, having run state parks, you're talking about public safety issues. You're going to have to have additional police officers patrolling. You're going to have to have at least one full-time janitor. What are the hours of operation? There's more to this than just saying a prefab bathroom going into an area. There's a lot of other issues that evolve into that. Uh, I think it's I don't believe it's the right thing to do this time or even next year. This is not something that should be. And the other thing we consider, while we talk about budgets going up a million dollars, well, let me tell you, on these prices, having dealt with bathrooms, they are very expensive and they need a lot of maintenance. And Diana Martin's budget would be increased. Uh, you may even need one, two, three janitors. And that's just the reality and the amount of people that would use this. And believe me, they will come from anywhere to use it. And there's a lot more issues and should be discussed, but I, I uh, agree with my colleague, Mr. Collins. Uh, I'm against this article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Warburton. Ms. Martin. Last time I was up here, I forgot to add one point that I wanted to tell the audience, that our, de our department, our parks department, would be in charge of maintaining this bathrooms. And Brian is sort of right but not really in speaking about the town not being in the bathroom business because we have a number of bathrooms that our parks department already maintains so this would just be two extra bathrooms that they would also be maintaining thank you Ms. Martin all right anyone else wishing to be heard yes Mr. Sack and then we'll move to the next article uh, I just want to say that the, the footprint of the whole building is only roughly 14 by 16 and it would be placed along the uh, the uh, ocean boulevard edge of that 
lot and it would only really knock out about probably three parking spots and it's the least offensive location on the property. Uh, the fact that he said that everybody in town would be using it, that's the idea behind it. We do build bathrooms. There's a bathroom in this building and it's for convenience. You can walk to the bathroom from here, 50 feet. This is a town beach. I don't th suggest that we put uh, beaches every two, I mean uh, bathrooms every two miles. I'm suggesting we put one at our town beach. It's a, a town owned property. It's the for convenience of the town residents. Um, I did not get the budget committee's uh, approval because I did literally bring it to them at the last hour. I was at their meeting and in fact it came up at 11 o'clock or I think just quarter of 11 uh, when the lights go out. So they, uh, they did not give it a lot of consideration. They pushed it through fairly quickly and just shut me down. Uh, but I think the residents, anyone that I've talked to has been very much in favor of this. They like the idea very much. Uh, it will cost money but so does the school, so does the fire station. Uh, but it benefits the town. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stack. As long as the gentleman brought up the budget committee, I was on that budget committee. We did give it due consideration. The primary consideration we gave in not recommending it was the underlying costs were not clearly mapped out. And from what I've heard tonight, but they remain so. So I remain opposed to it. Thank you, Mr. Jones. All right, we're going to move to Article 45. Article 44 will appear uh, on the ballot as printed. Article 44.